Hi there, thank you for choosing to start a food trial with us here at the Everladder. Now you should have received an email containing your username and your password, which means when you log in, you should see something that looks a little bit like this, but probably not quite as cluttered. This is our demo account, which means it's got access to all of our um, different subjects here. Now I imagine you've perhaps got one, maybe two. If we have a look now at the physical education course, I imagine the first thing you're going to want to do when you log into your trial account is have a little look, a little look at our resources. So to do that, the first thing I suggest to do is click on see courses and this will take you to a list of all of our physical education courses. Now you can filter these according to whichever one you want to take a look at. So I'm going to go for AQA and GCSE. If you told us on your form which courses you were interested in uh, viewing, they would have been unlocked ready for you. If you haven't and your courses are locked, please do go and take a look at the help articles, which can be found by clicking on here um, to how to unlock the resources by creating groups. Okay, so hopefully you have got access to the courses because you told us what you'd like to see and we've done all that for you in advance. So you can click on study now and you should see the whole course opened up like this. Again, you can have a look at all of the different lessons in there broken down by topic and then into subtopics. So if we just start at the top, we can have a look at the skeleton. You can see the skeleton here for AQA GCSEP has got three different lessons, bone structure and functions. And each of those lessons, if you hover over start learning, you'll see has different options for it. So the start learning is where you will be able to access the tutorial video. So I'm just gonna mute this quickly because you don't want to hit it at the same time as me speaking. But if you press play, you will then um, be able to listen to some of the video. I'm gonna jump forward to one minute, I'm gonna jump forward to three minutes, five minutes, etc. Okay, I'm just going to pause this here because I would like to show you something very quickly. Now you'll see this green bar at the top here is shows the position I'm in in the video. But if you have a quick little look at the bottom, you'll see some little grey bars appearing down here. Now these are you really unique and incredibly helpful for you as teachers as they are our tracking bars. So they show when I was actually watching the video. So you can see I started watching it at the start there and I jumped forwards, watched a tiny bit and jumped here. So although I'm five minutes 19 into the video, I haven't actually watched five minutes 19 of this. And this would be reported back to you as the teacher and to the student as well, as to what percentage of the video they have actually watched, which is really helpful if you're setting a homework for them to watch one of the tutorials. And you can then genuinely trust if the site reports back to you they've watched 100% of the video, you know they've watched 100% of the video. In addition to that, some other useful features are the fact that the video will pause if it believes the student isn't engaging. If they try and jump off into a different tab or open a different window or do something else on their device, it will pause. Okay, so you know, if it says they've watched it, you can trust that they've watched it. Okay, so if we go back now, um, we can have a little look at the other aspects of this lesson. So we've had a look at the video. You've now got start practice and test yourself. Now these are very similar. The key differences are in start practice mode, the students got access to their notes should they wish to, uh, to have them and that there's no timers here. Okay, so we can answer. I'm not going to read these questions. So please don't judge me. I'm just going to quickly click on them and you'll see feedback's given. Your answer's incorrect and it tells you why. Click to next question. Okay, you can write any answer. Um, that you want, so one, two, three, because I'm not reading the question. Okay, incorrect, and it should, you should, your answer should contain something on the line of cranium. Okay, now in practice mode, um, as a teacher, all you will know is how long the student has spent in here. You can't see how many of the questions they're getting right or wrong. The idea is that it's a safe space for them to practice the knowledge that they've got from the tutorial and to embed it before switching to test mode. If a student's doing particularly well in practice mode, the site will prompt them to switch to test mode, which I'm just going to going to do now also by clicking on this button here and you'll see in test mode oops, that you have got timed questions now the length of the question depends on the complexity of the question it also depends on the student because you can add extra time on for your SEN students if you need to okay so I'm going to quickly again click on these okay I'm incorrect telling me why okay I'm going to put bone in here oh dear that uh, wasn't right either. Okay, and you can see lots of different sorts of questions. You can click on images, make them bigger. Okay, so I'm going to exit my test. So you can do that, or well, the students, I should say, can do that for all of the lessons in here. Start learning, start practice, and test yourself. Now, what's also incredibly useful is students will have free access to all of this, but you as their teacher can also assign them uh, particular things to be getting on with. So you can create all different sorts of assignments to set as homework. Um, they can have a watch a lesson assignment, upload essay, test yourself 
and take checkpoint. Okay, so the watch lesson is just like this tutorials that we've just seen. Upload essay does, isn't used huge amounts of materials, but can be useful for your students to um, hand something in. Test yourself will be the quizzing that we've just seen. And checkpoints are, if I just go back quickly to show you, checkpoints are actually these sort of yellow blobs here, which are more end of unit tests. You can see there's one here at the end of the musculoskeletal system, which would test the students, quiz the students, I should say, sorry, on all of the lessons of the skeleton and all of the lessons in the joints. It would mix them all up for them. Okay, so go back to assignments here. Um, you could assign that to your students at the end of a, a unit, for example. Okay, and it's all reported back to you with how they get on. Other things uh, that are particularly useful you might be interested in are the exams area of the site and build exam. Okay, I do recommend click on this new P data and it's absolutely fantastic, full of data and things to guide you as to what sorts of questions your students should be practicing. I'm not going to go into that now, we haven't really got time. But do take a look. Okay, so I'm going to quickly select my curriculum. Uh, AQA GCSE PE here, and I want to have lesson uh, exam questions. Sorry, on the musculoskeletal system and on structure and function of the cardiorespiratory system. Okay. And if you have a look here, all of these questions now are appearing for me. I can have a look at the questions, okay, like this. And I can preview images if I want to. I can choose. I can filter by um, the assessment objective. I can filter by the different sort of skill, and I can filter by the number of marks as well. And I'm just going to simply click on the button here to add them into my exam or if you prefer you can drag and drop in here okay now once you've done this you can add as many questions in as you like okay you'd need to fill in the information up here give it a title and explanation of what this um, assessment's about this exam's about sorry and then you can either simply save it as draft come back to you later publish it for department use so everyone else in your department can then go on and use it and assign it to their groups or you can then go and use this and assign it to one of your groups directly um, once you've done that, you'll then have the option of how to set the exam. You can choose to have the exam set online so your students complete, complete it via a device um, and then it's auto indicatively marked or you can choose to set it as an, a paper exam, an offline exam, um, where you would print it off, give it to your students, mark it by hand but re-upload their marks so that they then appear in your dashboard. So I hope just giving you a little whistle stop tour to help you get started um, with having a look through all the different resources. Please um, get back to us if you've got any questions. Please contact your account manager, book a quick 15, 30, 45 minute um, session with them if you want and they can go into far, far more detail than I've been able to here. There's a huge amount available to you to make your life a little bit easier and to help your students too. Thank you.